burning off crop waste, an all too common sight across India. It's bad for people and the environment. But Avalon Clean Energy in Gujarat saw this as a business opportunity, turning waste into renewable energy. We are at a place where we know for a fact that energy requirements are going to increase as emerging economies come into the economic mainstream. Renewable energy in that sense is completely critical uh, for our future as a planet and as a human race. Big businesses in Gujarat, one of India's most industrialized states, burn a lot of lignite and coal. So replacing them with Avalon's biomass pellets helps cut carbon emissions. Here, fields of cotton leave farmers with tons of waste. Now, instead of burning it, they bring it to Avalon's collection points where it's carefully weighed. And they get paid straight away. It's good money for farmers like Malik Khan. We used to burn the crop waste, but now we bring it here and we are paid for it. If we can sell our waste like this for year after year, we will be really happy. From the collection point, the chopped waste is transported to one of the pelleting plants which Avalon has built. It's heated, compressed, and made into pellets in just 45 minutes. Now they are ready to deliver to clients. In this combined heat and power plant, pellets have replaced lignite, generating both heat and electricity for the factory. No technical changes were needed, and the pellets produce as much energy as lignite. And the switch has made a real difference to the workforce. While we switch over to the bio-rich, that is pellets, we have found it excellent. When we use the pellets, we feel free. Right from the start, Avalon knew they had to make sure they had a reliable supply of raw material. So they set up an NGO called Purnakumba to work with the farmers. Run by local people like Jignesh Palmer, Purnakumba is known and trusted in the community. This is Sedla. I was born here and know everyone. This is the temple square. Since we started Punakumba, we are all getting together as a community. Farmers have been paid 650 rupees per ton of waste. Under Mahesh Gaja, the local head of Purnakumba, the program has gone from strength to strength. Our program of collecting cotton waste here is attracting more and more members. They advise the farmers about sustainable farming, how to increase yields, and which crops to grow to deal with the changing climate. With plans to expand, Avalon will need even more sources of biomass in the future. They are working on quick-growing crops, which can be planted on spare land. Bamboo is the fastest growing variety, and we are multiplying bamboo by tissue culture technology to ensure the quality and quantity throughout the year. Other scientists are analyzing biomass samples from all over the world to help meet the global demand for pellets. I think pellets are uh, completely essential as we address the energy crisis because uh, A, they are made out of waste and therefore become a very good use of this waste. Uh, B, they have the ability to fit within existing energy systems. I completely think that uh, pellets are going to be an essential force in driving the energy economy of tomorrow. <laughs>